Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, so I have had a very busy week at work. I have not gotten to really do anything. Oh, uh, but yeah, tonight's my last night and I decided to go down to Disney Springs and it is pouring down rain and it is cold, but yeah. I'm gonna take you guys with me, so come get lost. As you guys can see, I parked over by downtown Disney. I'm gonna go see if I can find some food because uh, I'm hungry, but it's, it's like nine o'clock. I just so happened to be on this side of town when I finished my case. So yeah, and it's just me. There's a ton of construction over here. And it is cold. All right, we're on the other side of security. And uh, I haven't been here in a while. It definitely looks like they've changed some things. But uh, yeah, there's the Lego store over there. I don't really know what I want to eat, but I'm gonna go find something that's open. Well, where do you guys think I'm gonna end up? Cause I don't even know. So because Black Shop is open until midnight, I decided to come over here. It is so cold outside. Everything else closes at 10, but I didn't want to go somewhere and be that last second asshole. So yeah, this is what we're gonna eat. So to say that I'm tired is like a total understatement. I've been going with like five hours of sleep for like the last six days, but I fly home tomorrow. So it doesn't really matter what time I go to bed tonight. So yeah, so that's why I keep down here. And I figured like I have to, if I go to Southern California, I have to make a stop in Disney. So after I finish here, I'm gonna go head over to um, World of Disney and just go walk around there. So I decided to get a burger. Um, I almost got chicken burgers, but I decided not to. And yeah, so uh, look at all the peeps. You can just watch all the people. Uh, and, oh, and I got furry pickles. And I got a strawberry lemonade. In celebration for me finishing my week out in LA. It's been good, it's been busy. I still gotta go back to the room and film the room tour, which will come out at some point. And then, um, yeah, and then I'll take you guys tomorrow with me on my trip home day. And then I come back at the end of March, so in a couple weeks, and uh, we're just gonna keep packing and getting ready for our big move. And uh, we don't even really know where we're going yet. It's, it's been fun, it's been interesting. Um, but yeah, so World of Disney doesn't close till 11. So after I finish eating here, I'm gonna go over to World of Disney and we'll go walk around there. and. We'll go back to the car and then I gotta go to my office and go drop off all my stuff on the way back to the hotel. And then we'll call it a night. All right, it's food time. So like I said, I got the fried pickles. Does not look tasty. And then I got the Texas burger, which comes with barbecue sauce and an onion ring and french fries all together. All of this was $46. Yep, $46, guys. But you know what, whatever, I'm, I, I, it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna dig it.
trying to like pick it up and eat it. Um, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly chomp down on this. And uh, then we're gonna look it over. So what is it just? Okay, so dinner was tasty. Um, we're all done. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go get me some candy. Well, what do I want? What do I want? Because I need a backup in case my blood sugar bottoms out tonight, guys. So I got a marshmallow bar for myself and I got Gary an apple. Hopefully it makes it home. I'm gonna pack it really good in the suitcase um, because he likes his, uh, he likes his apples. So yeah, you can't go to Disney without getting something for your love. All right, now I, I'm, I'm still looking for the Disney store. So yeah, it is cold and it's raining. Ooh. All right, my lens is foggy because it's so wet and rainy and it's cold outside, but it's nice in here. So yeah, let's uh, let's wait for it to unfog. All right, so I'm just gonna walk around, see what they got, because I don't need anything right now because we're moving. As much as I want stuff, I do not need stuff. But yeah, that's kind of cute. Some stationery. It's a cute little Stitch AirPod case. That is so cute. They even have a matching watch band to go with it too. So cute. So it's a Haunted Mansion phone case. I need a new phone case. Should I get it or should I just wait till I come back in a couple weeks? I don't know. It's so cute though. So these are kind of cute. They're little like die cast puzzles of Sleeping Beauty Castle, Haunted Mansion West Coast, and Space. I think these are so cute. Little, they're little die cast model kits. And they're only like 30 bucks. How cute is that? All right, well y'all know I already have way too many lounge flies, but this one is so stinking cute. It's like, retro classic Disney with pirates, Matterhorn, you got a popcorn cart, you got Goofy. It's so cute. There's the teacups on here. There's Haunted Mansion like and they're all kind of a different print because like if you look at the front of this one, right, you can see the teacup in the corner and then you look at this one, they're not the same. I mean they're the same print but it's like they're in different places. So like there's pirates, there's the rocket ride, right? Like that's that one. And then you look up here and like they're all in different places. Interesting. Kind of go with the LuLaRoe approach. Okay, so technically Disney isn't selling spirit jersey branded spirit jerseys anymore. They still look like spirit jerseys, but this is like a different material. It's like a lot softer. And you can tell too, cause like when you look on the inside, it doesn't, it's not spirit jersey. But I like this one. It's really pretty. This like soft pink and this like soft orange. It's really cute. Same price though. Exact same price. This one's cute too. The blue one. Okay, so this one's a different material. So this one's like, it feels like more like classic spirit jersey felt. Yeah, but I like it. I like the blue and the green. It's pretty cute. And then I like that Tomorrowland shirt that's up there. I wonder where that one's at. Let's go see if we can find it. Just like that, I found it. There it is. Tomorrowland. It's like this like baby soft pink and then it's got like this retro print on it. That's so cute. And you got this like belly shirt. Definitely some interesting shirts okay so this is something else that's kind of cute it's another earbud case but it's like a it's like a little mickey cheeseburger also this thing is kind of big like just kind of like putting it up against my hand like that's actually kind of big it's definitely interesting i don't know if it's for me but it's interesting so they got the haunted mansion one that says there's room for more one more 
with Hatbot Ghost and the Bride and then the Mummy down here on the bottom. This one's even more expensive than the other one. It's 85. It's kind of, kind of crazy if you ask me. And that's the front. It just has like Haunted Mansion on it. It's kind of cute. I don't know if it's worth 85 bucks. I don't know if it's worth 85 bucks, but you know. Okay, so I found one that's still Spirit Jersey brand, but like, look at this, it's so cute. With all the little flowers on it, and then the back, Disneyland is done with all the little flowers. So this one's 80. I don't know, do I want it? It's pretty. Do I need another Spirit Jersey? No. But I want it, it's really cute. All right, here's the ears they got going on right now. We got some Moana. Looks like we have got Encanto and Coco. Got the purple ones. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this one's Little Mermaid, but I'm not 100% sure. We got the Alani ones. Alice, and then we got some pink, pink crowns. They're all cute, but once again, huh? I don't need any more ears. So I found Gary two shirts. Um, obviously by the time he edits this video, he will have gotten the shirt, so whatever. Um, but yeah, I found a Mickey shirt and then I found an Adventureland shirt, so hopefully he likes them. I'm gonna bring them home to him because he's always saying like, they don't really carry a lot of bigger sizes and um, this one, this one had it, so. Oh, this is cute. I wonder if he would actually wear this. Let's see, I'm gonna show you. All right, so you know the whole I love you, I know, but like these are like sweaters, spirit jersey style. Like how cute is that? I doubt he would wear that with me, but still, it's cute. It's an investment, $80 a pop. I mean, that's a $160 outfit you got going on right there. I like the lounge fly, it's really cute. My lens keeps fogging up because, you know, it's raining outside. I like the colors, like it's almost like this iridescent, like purpley blue with the black. It's so cute. I would get it, but I have too many of these. Way too many. All right, so far this is, these are the only pens I've found. I literally cannot find any pens. No pens at the World of Disney. So here's another lounge fly. That's super cute. It's Carl and Russell and Doug eating ice cream and then what's super cute is like look at the little zipper it's a little ice cream that's so cute again i want it but i'm gonna tell myself now i might have gone a little overboard on pens uh i got two pens that are up at the register and then i found these uh moana ariel Max. And then Merlin. I swear, I'm gonna drop them. And then I got uh, Gary a magic band too. So I'll show you guys everything I got when I get outside. $200 later. We're done. I got several pens. I got Gary a new magic band and uh, two shirts. Actually, honestly, overall, that's definitely not the worst case scenario at all so it all went pretty good so thank you have a good night all right now let's go head back to the car go to my office and go bring my stuff back and then when I get to the hotel I'll show you guys what I got and then I just I gotta pack I gotta get all my shit together take a shower get ready because tomorrow we head back to the airport and we head back home to Vegas so it was actually really nice coming out here, I have to say. Um, well, I didn't get to go into a Disney park, I got to go to downtown Disney, and uh, you know, it always just feeds the soul. Also, it stopped raining. Of course it did. The night's over, and it stops raining. That's how it goes. All right, let's go walk back to the car. Now, all the shops down here, pretty much closed at 11 the restaurants all closed at 10 except for um the place that i ate at 
and it was good. I enjoyed my burger. Um, although my burger and my food was not very hot by the time I got it, which take that for what it is. I'm not gonna lie guys, I am absolutely exhausted, but it's all good. Also, there's like a lot of construction going on down here. So much construction out here. It's cold, it's wet, but we don't have too far to go. I'm guessing they're putting a new restaurant in over here. I don't know what was over here before. Uh, but yeah, so, oh, Black Tap. That's where I had dinner, right there. It was good. It was, like I said, it was expensive. It was like 46 bucks for all that food. And I didn't even eat it all. Cause I just, I don't eat that much. We're almost, we're almost at the end. And we're gonna walk out to the car and then we're gonna get out of here. So I made it to my office. I just went and dropped off all my stuff like you guys just saw in the elevator the quick second so uh we're gonna go head back to the hotel empty out the car clean out the car get that ready to go uh, we lost the light in the room and uh i'll show you guys everything i got at downtown disney we're gonna pack up the suitcases we're gonna get ready to leave tomorrow let's go as promised i have made it back to the room and i'm gonna show you guys what i got i mean i didn't get a lot but i got some stuff so uh, let's take a closer look. So this is what I got at the Disney store and this is what I got at the confectionery. So let's dump it out. Starting off real strong. We, I got Gary this magic band. It says Goofy on it. And if you look closely, it says Gwarsh. And apparently it's a limited release. It doesn't say like how many of these that they've they've generated um but i think when we get back to disney world or like the next time we go to the disney park we'll definitely try to do a bit of a deep dive on magic band plus and how you use it because it's interesting it's, it's it's different from the original magic bands and there's like a whole there's like a whole thing so we'll have to do that next up I got Gary two shirts. <laughs> this is one shirt I got. I got Steamboat Willie and it says Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse in Steamboat Willie. I just thought it was really cute. Um, you know, it's simple. It's not like too flashy. And then the other one I got is Adventureland and it says Adventures Around Every Corner. It's the Jungle Cruise. And down here it says Jungle Navigation Co excursions departing daily i just thought these two were just really cute just like two really cute shirts that hopefully gary likes we'll see what he thinks when i show it to him next up we're gonna look at the pins so when i was in world of disney i was trying to show you guys the pens but here they are more up close like i promised so this one is ariel i don't i don't have this one yet I really love Ariel pens and anytime I find a new one that's cute, I try to grab it. This one is like a part of their crown series. It's really heavy. They do different crowns and different Disney princesses and I do like Moana and I just thought it just looked really pretty. I love the colors. I love the shells. You can kind of see it as I get a little bit closer. Uh, that's about as close as we're gonna get because I'm not filming on the camera I'm filming on my phone but I just thought it was really pretty next up we've got Max from the Little Mermaid he is Prince Eric's dog and uh, I'm a dog lover don't have any dogs right now but I just thought this was so cute it says floof on point and then this one I picked up for Gary I just thought it was really cute it's Merlin and um arthur from the sword in the stone and as you can see he's got all the books floating around his head i just thought it was really cute i like merlin too i think merlin's really cool and i and i'm pretty sure gary likes him too and then 
this is a 2024 Disney pen. They had four different ones and it was really hard trying to think of which one I liked. And as you look around the circle, that's Buzz, there's the Pixar ball, you've got Aladdin's lamp. Not sure what this one is. There's a princess crown. There's the sorcerer Mickey's hat, Cinderella, Tinkerbell. Um, not sure. Sword in the Stone, or Orange Bird, Beauty and the Beast, Teacups, and Dumbo. Yeah, so I just, I thought that one was really neat. So that is my Disney haul, y'all. That's the Disney haul. Always have to get a Disney apple. And Gary loves Sorcerer Mickey, so I got him a Sorcerer Mickey apple. And then for me... Nothing fancy. I just got a chocolate. I just did chocolate covered marshmallows because I just thought those would be good. So yeah, so that I guess is the official Disney haul. So that is going to end this adventure tonight. I hope you guys had fun tagging along with me tonight on my adventure down to Disney Springs. I had to go to my office, drop my stuff off, and then now we're back at the hotel and we got to pack up and we're going to get ready. Um, it's midnight. Midnight, y'all. I'm tired, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna get my suitcase back, take a shower, try and get a couple of these in, and then I'm gonna get up in the morning and uh, we're gonna head to the airport. So I look forward to that video. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you don't wanna miss any future videos, cause we do three videos a week, make sure you hit that notification bell. And uh, yeah, we'll come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye, everybody.